Hej och välkommen till Tech Tips med Kanal 10. Jag heter Amanda och idag vi har med oss våra kompis Daniela Nell. Hon ska lära oss idag lite om hur det ska gå om vi filmar med en iPhone. Hon är från Sydafrika så vi ska försätta på svensk, äh, engelska, inte svenska. Så här, här vi går. Danny, what do you expect from this test today? What are your perceptions of this? Well, and I think the first thing that you need to say is is that how can a camera that's this big, like equal a camera which is this big? Exactly. You know, like you can't compare the two. No. And and uh, to say that hey, I can actually record a music video with an iPhone or a broadcast program with an iPhone is 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 total lunacy. Yes, you can do it, but it doesn't mean it is a smart idea. No, exactly. Right? And guys, we're talking about like the iPhone, its sensor is Let's see, I got one. I got the Pro right here. The the sensor isn't very much bigger than this here. But the sensor on my full frame EOS R is like, well, actually, I, it's like that big. And then when you have bigger cameras, you have even bigger sensor sizes. And you're getting more information into the sensor. Now, we actually recorded an entire Tech Tips in the, in the iPhone 12 Pro just to show how it, it can actually be done. Okay, so I think the first thing that I'm going to say about this is um, let's just look at the skin tones. I don't know why, but all the iPhone footage I've ever seen um, come out is like it's like a pinkish hue, a pinkish color that actually just puts it in your skin. I'm like, I don't understand why. So it's just how it records. Exactly, right. Right, and then and then also the other thing is is that uh, you can see out of the window here. Or what happens is when when you overexpose something, that's detail you can't ever get back. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You don't really have a lot of um, control. No, over exactly. What you're using when you're mm. using the iPhone. No, exactly, and that's why so many people are marketing ND filters for iPhone 12 right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to switch over to Resolve, and I want to show you some stuff. So this is the iPhone clip. I mean, it's it's a beautiful image, right? But if I look at the skin tone, the skin tone looks wrong. You know, exactly. It's too much orange and too much pink in it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to switch over to an underexposed um, Black Magic ProRes clip, mm -hmm. which yeah. has a lot on. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm just gonna uh, disable this node. Okay, so this was shot like this. This is called shooting in log. Okay, mm -hmm. so on the Black Magic camera, it's the film setting. That that was um, sh shot on, yeah. So uh, I've placed the LUT on, which does the conversion from log mm -hmm. to what we see over here. This is called Rec 709. Right. And what I want you to see is that, okay, compared to the iPhone clip, which is much, much lighter, can you see what's happening in the, the clouds and stuff? This is not even as exposed, but... The inform it actually looks much better. Yeah, there's more detail. Look at the skin tones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you look there, that orange is not in this black magic, even though it's unexposed. I mean, I can expose this correctly very, very quickly, you know? And the information is in that image. Mm -hmm. Whereas if I go to the iPhone clip, you know, it, it I can't bring the information back. No, exactly. What I love about the Blackmagic camera is compared to the iPhone, notice the background is not as out of focus, in other words, depth of field, right, mm -hmm. as I do have with the Blackmagic. And that is the power of using a lens that's that big. Exactly. The, the other benefit of having it, not just the sensor, but the ability to use other lenses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but what I want you to actually look at with the uh, iPhone footage, so yeah, here's some shots that you took with the iPhone footage, mm -hmm. right? Got, uh, beautiful shots. You know, if you've got nothing else, and this is what you're shooting with, there's nothing wrong with it. No, exactly. But I won't make a program with the iPhone, okay? No. So it's knowing what it's for, you know? Like, if you have nothing on you and this is what you have, this is not bad. What I want you to see is the fact that with the iPhone Pro recording, you can record in quite a big format. So here you can see 3H40 by uh, 2160. Mm -hmm. That is your resolution, right? Mm -hmm. And if you look right next to it, it gives you the ability to record in 25 frames a second. Okay. This is important if you are actually using an iPhone and want to mix it in with other cameras. So let's go to the 6K Pro, right? And you can see, okay, um, they did shoot uh, quite a bit of formats here, but here's the equivalent uh, 3840 by 2160, which is the same as the iPhone footage we saw. Right. So, but also the frames per second is the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so if I actually look here, this is quite a, a beautiful image. You know, notice the rocks. Oh, all the detail. The detail and the rocks. Right. Notice the foliage. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. The detail and the foliage. And, and so you got dark areas as well. So she's got uh, black pants on. Mm -hmm. And in dark areas here in the forest and, and the bark and the tree, and even down here in the rocks, mm -hmm. you know. It's actually picking up quite a lot of detail, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the, to the iPhone, okay? So let's see, was there something similar that we can uh, look at? Now, this is a, a different type of shot altogether, okay? But notice in the rocks. Yeah, you don't see anything in the darks. There's no yeah. definition really in it. I mean, there's definition here, right? Mm -hmm. But there's no definition there. Really. So there's a few things that's important. It's sensor size, means that you use, and format you record. Mm -hmm. Okay? We sort of have that going for us with the iPhone, where we've got 3840 by 2160. And you basically said that the iPhone's sensor is about that size. Yeah. Right? So it's, it's basically, um, I don't know, probably, probably about a little bit bigger than my thumb. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, but when it comes to when it comes to like the Canon or the Black Magic, your sensor size is almost three centimeters. Exactly. Right. So so it's like it's like okay, one and a half centimeters versus three centimeters, and the lens is like that. You know. <laughs> so so now you uh, so there's more things that that can actually add to what the camera can do. The next thing that I want to chat about is, is the codec. Mm -hmm. Okay. H.264 and H.265 is what the iPhone records as. Mm -hmm. But if I go to my Black Magic, they recorded an Apple ProRes 422HQ. This is a pro format. Okay, mm -hmm. H.264 and H.265 is, is basically, um, it's the equivalent format that you would sh uh, watch something on YouTube on. ProRes is a massive format, you know, so, it, and so it's not only sensor size, it's not only lens, it's not only format, oh, sorry, resolution, it's now format as well. So there's more components. Um, when it comes to choosing the right camera for what you're wanting to do. Mm -hmm. You can record something with an iPhone if that's all you have, right? And yeah. even oftentimes if you come across news or something, you're the only person there, pull out your phone, that footage could be worth something, right? If, if it's yeah. breaking news. And yeah. uh, just to, as a final note too, I'll just show you guys. I'll do a little screen recording here, but you just go into settings if you want to change your camera format on your iPhone. When you click on camera, it has formats and record video. Under formats, you can select high efficiency, which will give you the ability to record in 
240 frames per second if you want to do slow. And also uh, opens up to where you can select Apple Pro Raw, which is not ProRes, but it's Pro Raw. And that's that DNG format that should be able to help you have a little bit of color correction in it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then if you go back out to record video, you can select everything from 720 at 30 frames per second up to 4K at 60 frames per second with some PAL options in 25 frames in there as well. In a nutshell, <laughs> thank you so much, Danny. We love having you. And I hope that you come back and do some more tips with us. She's in a very, what do you call it? A, a happening part of the industry, really. <laughs> All right, my friend, thank you so much for your time. Och jag hoppas att det har hjälpt dig lite. Om du har någon fråga, bara e-mail oss på teknik at Och vi ska gälla hjälpa dig. Ha det så jättebra och vi sänger er. Jättebra! 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 <laughs>